Challenger. Right here, right now, we're in for something special. Round one. Fight. The fight just started. This is Tasty Steve on commentary. Checking how their opponent reacts to the fireball. Denying them a breather there with the long-range fireball. Not much damage dealt so far, but they may be looking for an opening to run with. Both looking for an opening. They want to get in and do damage. Gets a chance with the jump in. You can open up chances to do big damage by baiting something out, getting that opening, and then jumping in. Confident anti-air. Consistent anti-air is huge because shutting down the air game lets you dictate the pace of the match much easier. Player 2 chases him down. That attack landed for a counter hit. They'll have to decide how to follow up. Heading into the end game now, it's getting tense. What's their game plan here at this critical stage? Pokes with the medium kick. K.O. Player two picks up the always important first round. They'll want to keep the ball rolling. Everything up until now and everything from here on out is so vital. Got their eye on the air. Player two did a great job of reading their opponent up close that last round. And they keep up the momentum. Okay, they trade hits. Gotta make sure not to splurge with that drive gauge and leave themselves vulnerable. It'll be interesting to see how both players utilize the drive gauge to dictate the terms of the match. Goes for the jump in. No lariat, and now... Player two needs to use the threat of the corner here. Big chance here to do some damage if they can keep the corner pressure up. Checks with the medium kick. Headfoot. Have they noticed the drive gauge gap? The drive gauge is almost empty. They gotta be careful. Hopes with the medium kick. Crowns up from above. Experiencing burnout. Amazing! Life lead here, but it's your done! <laughs> Player two gets a clear victory. I know they want to add more W to that column. How is this rematch going to play out? Are we going to witness a blow up here? Creates distance to try to get a read on the opponent. Lays on the pressure with the projectile. Are they trying to bait the jump? Anything that happens early in the round will set the table for the rest of the fight. Okay, takes them all the way to the corner. Tons of drive and health to work with. Looking for a way to incorporate their drive. Goes for the throw. Very dangerous range. You definitely get clipped by something. Hmm, what are they thinking here? Both fighters are looking for a way to fill up their super hard gauge. Gaining some meter will open up the chance to deal huge damage if they can create an open. Player one creates a good corner opportunity. Keeping them in the corner will only produce more damage opportunities. Just looking for that jump attack. Shoots off a fireball up close. This range is where it gets interesting. You gotta utilize the reach of your moves to bait out and attack. Player two needs to be cautious with drive damage. The jump in is denied. Nice double area. Player two chases them down. Ooh, burnout activates. Player one can't afford mistakes without the decay. Oh. Player two picks up the first round. That'll give them a psychological advantage. How will they take advantage of everything that's happened up until now? Let's off a whirlwind. Nails the anti-air. Can't take the throw. Throw option, always good for the damage. You gotta be mindful of reach and jump-ins at this range. They both have full drive gauges to work with. Both fighters will have to decide whether they want to go with an all-out offense powered by their drive or play it safe and conservative. Full SA meters on deck for both sides. This could be over soon. Knockdown and... Player one will look to apply pressure here. Big chance here to do some damage if they can keep the corner pressure up. Ooh, just goes for it at this range. Are they dead off this super? It's too close to call. And it's just enough. Solid read on the bar. Player two gets a clear victory. I know they want to add more W to that column.